I don't have that many gray hair yet. And I'm lucky that for now, most of them are not visible when my hair is down. My grays didn't really used to bother me until I recently ruined a selfie with my toddler. I was too embarrassed to share this photo with my family. So I decided to do something about it. The thing is that I'm expecting a second baby and I don't want to use any harsh chemicals. And since I only have a handful of gray hair, I don't want to waste a lot of product either. Stick around to see my at home, minimum waste, non-toxic solution to erase my grays. I'm Sabrina and I'm the creator of L'Atelier Coworking and the Focus Journal. I am always looking for the best ways to optimize and organize my business and personal life, which is why I have created Tidy Living. If you want to get inspiring content and tips, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified on upcoming videos. I didn't look too hard or long to find the product I wanted to use. I just did a quick search on Amazon and found this product, which was affordable and had a ton of great reviews. I realized it was also available in my local drugstore, so I just went ahead and bought it. Choosing the color was also a quick decision. Since I was only going to dye a few strands, it didn't really matter too much. I picked dark brown because that just sounded right. So this kit comes with three products. You mix bottle one and two together, and the third is just a conditioner. Since I didn't want to use the whole thing, I just took a look at the measurements. Products 1 and 2, aka the color cream and the activator, are each 60 millimeters. So this just means you have to use an equal amount of each. No math needed. In order to only use a small amount of product, I had to add my own tools to the kit. A reusable cupcake mold as the mixing bowl, a small measuring cup that I didn't want to use in the future, a brow brush, and finally, a plastic spoon that came with my food delivery. Following the safety instructions, I wore my gloves, mixed the color cream and activator very well, and then started applying the hair dye, but only where I felt it was needed. I was afraid to use too much product, but looking back at the video, I definitely could have used some more. The next step was to wash my hair. I forgot to apply the conditioner while in the shower, the one that came with the kit, so I just did it afterwards and jumped in the shower again for a quick rinse. And here is my hair all clean and dry. Overall, I can clearly see that the grays are not as visible and I am happy that the color looks natural and blends with the rest of my hair. However, I do think I should have used a bit more product because I seem to have missed a few gray hairs. I had a lot of mixture left in my mixing bowl anyway that I didn't use. I also kind of panicked and didn't leave the product on for the full 20 minutes, so I would do that next time. I think I could get at least three more uses out of these bottles, so I carefully put everything away for next time. Was this video useful to you? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos. I will see you in the next one.